Another very important topic that's related a little bit is uh, the role of calcium and dairy products in nutrition and health. And there has been, of course, a recommendation that we should be consuming three servings of dairy products a day. That's actually a very radical recommendation because it would, be, it would about double dairy product consumption in the United States if everyone followed that guideline. And it's also very radical if we look over time in history. In fact, if we look around the world, the vast majority of adults do not consume dairy products uh, on a regular basis at all. And it had been thought that, well, uh, even if there's not much benefit from all that dairy consumption, it's not harmful. But as we've started to look into this in more detail, the evidence is now strong that high dairy consumption will increase the risk of fatal prostate cancer and very possibly ovarian cancer as well. So this is uh, a lot of research in progress. I think at the moment it's uh, probably wise to consume dairy products, you know, maybe one or two servings a day, if at all. Uh, but clearly there's a lot of uh, very interesting research that's still to emerge. Food that uh, is fed to the cows also will make a difference uh, in the nu nutritional content. Uh, for example, uh, grass-fed cows will have a fatty acid content in their milk that's different than grain-fed cows. Now, how big a difference that is, how important that difference is, I think we actually don't know at this time. These various feeding and management practices do uh, really affect the nature of the milk that we're consuming. So what we call milk today is not what milk was 50 or 100 years ago. And uh, that's likely to have important health implications, but we can't be sure about uh, what they are at this point in time.